Welcome to this video. If you're new here, this is my RB25, aka Skyline Swapped S14 Zinke. Big turbo and everything. I also have the lifted Jeep XJ Cherokee and Granda, the slammed Forester. Also down in the description will be a link for merch that has to do with that smiley face on the back of the car. Go check it out. But you're watching because of the Amazon Strut Tower Bar. I saw this on Amazon for the Sylvia. Figured kind of a cool thing to try. It was 112 bucks. It was marketed as a carbon steel strut tower bar and it looked like it had like it was wide had gussets in it it looked freaking sick so i bought it we're gonna see how good it is if it's any good at all it might be junk all right so let's open it cut. there you go under this one and under that one these staples are not friendly Oh, whoa. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hey, first impressions. I was under the impression that the end plates where it bolts on was like carbon or something. It kind of looked like it in the picture. This looked darker in the pictures. But as you can see, it's all one color, but it's all like a gunmetal gray. But it does have like the gussets in the middle with this plate, DC Sports Steel Series CS2. That's kind of sick. I dig the gussets. Let's take it out of the wrapping real quick. Honestly, the finish and the welds look really not like good, but like decent. The finish on it's like pretty perfect. I dig the gunmetal. It won't really go with anything in the car, but. I think it'll still be cool. Next test is gonna be fitment on this. Is it gonna fit up right or is it gonna be skawankus and give me a nightmare to get it on there? Don't litter. Throw, throw your boxes away, throw your trash away. There's no need to litter. Ooh, let's check this out. Ooh, did I get a sticker? Oh, heck yeah. We got stickers, boys already worth it yeah 100 percent worth it don't even need to finish the video now putting a strut bar on a car is really simple if you have the car on the ground you don't need to worry about taking those bolts off because the pressure from the car being on the ground isn't going to move anything other than where it is right now so you can take all the bolts off set it on there and bolt it back up so we're i'm hoping this amazon strut tower bar fits hopefully it fits as good as it looks just uh let's do a quick mock-up test and see okay it looks like it's gonna fit really well you have these are ovaled out to have a little bit of adjustment play but it looks like it's actually gonna fit really well I'm kind of impressed so far however I just noticed something and it's not gonna fit sadly what I noticed is the throttle cable bracket right under there it's touching the strut bar already and it's not even all oh, that's why it's not going all the way down so we have to go down more and it's already touching however luckily i have a new intake manifold that's going to be here monday so as soon as we do the new intake manifold that's going to be front facing shut tower bar looks like it's going to fit perfect i had a ka or an sr20 in this car the strut tower bar would fit perfectly. The fact that it's got a Skyline engine in it, the RB25 with the intake manifold that wraps around the top of the motor is the only reason this is not fitting right now. So all you S14 or 240 owners out there that this will fit on, don't turn your heads away from this because it's not fitting on my car because this is not the stock motor. And the stock motors and 240s don't have the intake manifolds like this. You will have plenty of enough room. So what we've seen so far, it looks like it's gonna fit. I mean, the fitment over here is already on point, and it looks like if we weren't hitting the bracket on the top of the intake manifold right here, that these would slide right down. They look like they're all perfectly lined up. The price of this thing being 112 bucks with Amazon Prime, it was here in two days. I give this like a nine out of 10. But sadly, we're not gonna be finishing this episode with a full install. However, like I said, I have a new intake manifold on the way that'll be here Monday. It's gonna be front facing. We'll do a whole video on all the custom work we're doing with that because we got some extra goodies too. So when that intake, front facing intake manifold's on, this looks like it's gonna fit perfectly and that's why I rated a nine out of 10. I mean, it freaking looks sick. 
Anyways, thank you for watching. If you want to buy some merch of my brand, HCSF, that has to do with the smiley face that I made up as a kid, link in the description. But other than that, thank you for watching. Please keep watching my videos. We've got some really crazy stuff coming for the S14 in the next couple weeks. And we've also got some really huge announcements for the Forester in the next couple weeks too. We've got huge big plans coming for the summer. I'm stoked about it. So everyone have a great day because I told you to. Go have a great day. Stay safe.